Hey everybody, my name is Gunnar Vogel, come back for a new video of NHL 24, uh, 22 franchise mode. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we had, went ahead and uh, got past the free agency, did the draft pick, everything. We also ended up uh, simulating pretty much half the season uh, of the season, uh, second season and stuff like that. So uh, now we're pretty much good to go. We're going to continue. There's not much things we need uh there's uh, that are left to do uh, for us to do so the only thing i want to look at is eventually for uh, future trades once we come up at the trade deadline or close to it we'll definitely look at them if there's any available options or anything boys and there's a new strategy that i'm going to be doing because i did get some comments from some of you guys that asked me why the hell if i had a cal uh, salary cap off why didn't i go all on on it like uh, going max deals for free agency and uh, trading away anybody I, wa I've, I've, I want, right? Cheese the system as much as possible. Seems that's what you guys think I should do. I'm not totally sure that's what I really want to do. The reason why I didn't, uh, wasn't cheesing the, the max is because having the a salary cap off by itself is already pretty much cheesy, uh, boys. I don't want to have to uh, cheese the system even further. I think I want to limit myself a little bit because I know I'm not a good player that much. I just want to make sure to to have some sort of challenge. So I'm setting some settings off, but I'm keeping other things. Like I'm limiting myself by doing other things, certain things, boys. So that's just what I'm trying to say. But if you guys absolutely want me to like max the deal for Pasternak or Mekinen, make sure that they absolutely get to me. I'll do it, I guess, but it seems kind of like pointless to me, you know? I could, I mean, I could literally, uh, during the contracts as well, I could literally start buying out everyone that I don't want. That's the system, but instead I do choose to keep these players instead of buy, uh, buying out, buying them out, I keep them for the remaining amount of salary. This is why I limit myself to their age at what they're going to be. So if he's 27 years of age, I'll give him a three year contract. So at 30 years, like I, I want a nice round number boys. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why I want to keep them as long as that. Basically, I, want, I don't want to like cheese the system and like buy them out and get a new, a better pro player in, in his stead. I think that's too, a bit too cheating. So we're going to continue right here, the simulation. We're going to bounce back right into it. Don't want to mess anything up, boys. Don't want to uh, chill too much. So we start off with a lost regulation loss against the Anaheim Ducks. There's another loss, but overtime loss this time around against uh, the Vancouver Canucks and the Boston Brooms as well. Another overtime loss. That's three losses in a row. Four losses in a row, boys. But uh, three of them are in a row where it's, uh, it's uh, at least a point. Seems like we're losing an overtime shootout quite a lot. We haven't won a single game yet. Can we win one, please? I don't know what's going on, but my I don't know if I edited out my strategy or anything, but seems like we're playing like other trash right now. Yeah, we are not winning any games, boys. We cannot win a single game? You, you gotta be shitting me. There we go. There's our first actual win, boys, in nine games. Oh, you gotta, you gotta be shitting me. What are we doing here? All right, against Montreal, we can Oh my god, you got it. Really? All right, well, that is pretty much the worst record I've ever had. At 10 games, boys, it's 1-6-3. and three. What the fuck? At least we got some points, I guess, but we climbed up, uh, back down completely. I don't know what the fuck happened there. We need to, uh, we need to figure this out right now, boys. You guys may be up to something. Maybe I do have to max the doing max offers to all these big time players so they can join me and stuff. I mean, my players were doing fine in terms of point style is I think there's something wrong right here. What is my team's problem right here? Let's figure it out, boys, really quick. So my team's problems, where are we at? We've got the worst offense. Well, great. We've got uh, one of the worst defense as well. Well, everything's going against us, I guess. Power play is fine. And the penalty kill is the best. We got the best penalty kill and our power play is fine. So it is just a 5 on 5. It's out of garbage, I guess. 
other garbage uh, garbage for the uh, five on five how are we going to replace that though how are we going to modify anything why is rackle okay i think we do need to keep rackle in there i guess and what was Malkin doing? Malkin's not doing too good, right? Not too sure what I'm going to do, boys, to change things up. But uh, this is not working out right now at all. We've got a playmaker or a sniper. We already have a playmaker here. We got a power forward. I just looked at my uh, the rest of my lineup. Everything's fine. I don't need to change anything. For the most part, everything seems fine by, by me, boys. I don't have any injuries or anything. Nope. So there's really nothing I can change. Uh, Fleury probably actually knows our depth forward. So that's fine. Yeah, I don't need to change anything. I, I don't know what was not working. I think it was a five on five. But now we've changed the lineups. Let's see if that's going to change anything. Do we have another uh, 10 games maybe before the trade deadline? We do. So let's uh, simulate the next 10 games, boys. Hopefully it's going to switch it up, I guess. Uh, Latan just got injured, which is not a good thing. So let's get uh, him replaced by Aiden Flurry. Uh, Flurry, you're gonna get replaced by either Brent Burns or Shillington. Okay, so he's better than Larson and Zborel. So we're gonna play him in there, and he's gonna be, I guess, playing with uh, the likes of Shillington and all. And we got some extras. We need to switch out the extras. So let's put uh, Aiden Flurry in there. Let me just put him in there real quick, boys. And same thing for the shootout. I guess he uh, he's not, he wasn't in there yet. We got to put him in there. There we go. All right, so that's done. Let's see what we got. So that was a win against uh, Colorado. At least there's that. Let's see if we can get uh, some good momentum going. There's a loss against Edmonton once again. Uh, a win against Philadelphia, which is exactly what I want to see. Detroit. There's a win, overtime win, but we got the extra point. That's really good. Uh, what about uh, Nashville? There it is. That's three wins in a row. Let's keep it going, boys. Uh, that's a big time regulation loss, eight to two against uh, the New York Islanders. I do not like. I don't want to see that at all. There's a good win against the Panthers. Uh, the Detroit Red Wings. We can definitely beat them, and we did. That's good. All right, so, so far it seems like this is a good record right here. Vancouver Canucks, that's a big loss. An absolute garbage loss at that. Come on, man, we can beat them. Damn, we cannot, we don't, we do not have the number. They have the number on us, I guess. We cannot beat the Vancouver Canucks. It's annoying. So six and four for the last 10 games. It seems like I modify my lineups that they're much better now. My players are my playing, my team's playing better. Overall, but maybe my strategy is quite it's not quite good enough. So I'm 65. I'm still in the wild card spot. We got to start moving. We are in a strong division after all. Uh, 50 points for Malkin. He's our best player right now. I really need to start looking. So did we go up at all in terms of goal, goals for per game? Uh, we did. I believe we did because we're not dead last. And goals against, we went up. So we're giving up more goals. That's not good. That's not good at all, boys. So I got to switch out my strategies. It seems like we're giving up way too much uh, right here. And plus, now is the tr we're come up, uh, coming up at the trade deadline. It's time to look at trades. Maybe something that, uh, uh, some stuff we can do and all. So neutral zone. I, I think we definitely wanted uh, to keep it at 1-3-1. One, 1-2-2 one, uh, one, two, two aggressive. Trap, let's trap it up as much as possible. Or actually, you know what? Four check. Four check it out. Uh, and I want high pressure, full attack, collapsing, large box shooting. Uh, that's all fine. Uh, offensive pressure and defensive pressure. My defense is absolute trash, other trash. Let's try and put it at protect the net. Maybe that's going to help out. And uh, we want to keep it at full attack. Maybe not. Bring it down to aggressive, maybe. That's maybe the co uh, the course to go right there. Uh, might be the course to go. And I think that's it. So that's the only thing we want to do. All right. Well, that uh, that's pretty much it, boys. So uh, we're going to look right now at the trades we want to do. First things first. Do we have anybody in the minors that... Uh, well, we've got plenty of people that should be playing in the, uh, in the actual league. But that's besides the point. What I think we want to have is just upgrade our 
actual uh, league, like our main team itself. So in order to do that, we're going to need to look at what's the weakest right now. Uh, Timoshov on the left wing position is something we need to upgrade. We do need to upgrade our left wing position. And uh, we need to upgrade our right wing. So our wingers are the things we need to upgrade. Remember, I have the right to three trades in total. Uh, and uh, I think, I don't know, I don't remember if I already did a trade before or not. But I, st I think I still have my three trades, I'm pretty sure. So I think we're safe on that. And uh, we got still Flurgy is, my guy Latin is still injured. So defensive wise, do we need aim anybody? I feel like we're fine defensive. If we can upgrade for find a defenseman that's there, that's an option, we'll take it. But uh, we're not going all out on that. So let's take a look at the forwards first and see if there's anything interesting, boys. Anything whatsoever. We are looking for wingers right now. Uh, we could look for Novechkin. There is a thing. If we, if you guys want me to cheese it out, we can definitely get an Ovechkin for a couple of like, like four first runners or something like that. Not too sure that's exactly what I want to do, but if you guys want me to cheese it out, I can definitely do it. Let's see if I can try it out. But try my luck, boys. We can get an Ovechkin, or we can get a Patrick Kane. Uh, Ovechkin's got two years left, and Patrick Kane's got three years. The main difference is uh, Ovechkin's much better. So let's try and see if we can't get him. Now, if we look into the trades and stuff, boys, into my team, you can see Machizny is an NHL, an NHL player ready right now. So he's growing quite fast. That's fantastic for us. That's really good news. We also have Montador. Remember this guy, uh, our first round pick from last year. He actually is growing quite nicely as well. So we got some big time uh, prospects coming up. I could probably trade my low elite right there, Alexandra, but the thing is, I want to keep him because he's a power forward, so he's definitely going to be useful for me. And uh, Montador is a playmaker, power forward for Majizny, so we got some good players. Uh, I think I wanted to get rid of uh, Timoshev. He's my weakling right now. And uh, Tanev, though. Now, I'm going to get rid of Timoshev. And uh, now it's time I don't have anything. That's the thing. I can't really trade for any prospects because I want to keep these two. Uh, a Cole Lind, I could definitely uh, like trade him, trade him away. So I could definitely do that. Uh, trade away a, a Cole Lind, boys. I want to keep my elite players though, uh, definitely. What about the first round pick? I guess I can trade away my first round picks, boys. But I'm not sure how much helps. Uh, so a first and a second from next year. For uh, Colin and Timoshev in exchange for Ovechkin. I don't think it's going to go true. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't. I didn't think it was going to get true. But let's see for two first rounders. Alright, let's try and cheese it out, boys. Two first rounders. Let's see. Reject it. So see, it's going to take at least three first. It's at least going to take three first. Maybe a second round. A second round from that year as well. Maybe that's going to go true. Nope. Alright, well, let's try... I guess three first rounds. Three first rounds might do the trick, boys. But it's... Yeah, no. Alright, so I'm not going higher than this. Like, I, we're not going for a, of an Ovechkin, boys. That's just not going to happen. So, even if I want... Like, I, I do not want to have to waste that many goddamn draft picks for that. So, that's not going to happen. I can definitely get another player instead. Well, I can get a center. I could get a Nico Ishia. But Nico Ishia, is it 2 way 4 Yeah, it's a 2 way 4 We don't, we do not want that type of player on my team. That's garbage. Other garbage. Uh, Jack Hughes could be a good one, though. He's a playmaker. We got uh, Shifley and everything. Like, if you want somebody in the 90s, it, there's a there's a way of getting them by trading away first round picks. But I don't need centers. That's the thing. I don't need centers right now. Trevor Zegris could play on the left wing, though. He's an available player, and uh, we can get him for the left wing. So we're definitely going to do that. We'll play him on the left wing, boys, if we can get him. So let's get him in exchange for uh, Timoshev. Same thing, same tactic, boys. Timoshev, our prospect uh, we had earlier. So Cole Lind or something. Is that his, is that his name right here? Uh, Kalen Lind, okay. Uh, Kalen Lind, and we probably don't even have to give up as much. So probably not even the first or something. A second, uh, 
in a, uh, a, uh, another second. Two seconds. I think two second round picks, Lind and Timishaw for Zegris is fair enough. They want more, I'll give them more. Okay, so I guess it is going to take us a first round pick. Let's give them a first. That's not going to be enough. All right. Uh, first and a second. All right. First and a second. I'm not going further than that. All right. Uh, that's kind of bullshit right there. All right. This might go through. But uh, I'm going to push it a little bit further, boys. And give them like uh, a second round pick and stuff. Just to make sure it goes through. So Eberle, Lind, and a second. For put your RV, boys. Low elite. And he's a right winger. So we do need a right winger. Upgrade our la right wing right here. He's definitely an upgrade. He's in the, a uh, in the mid 80s. So he's going to be able to help us out. He's a playmaker as well. Or he's a power forward I should say. So uh, power forward for another one. Basically. Or a sniper. So it's a good choice. Let's see if it's going to go true. And it did accept. So that's our first trade of the year. There it is. So big time upgrade right there. We got Poli RV boys. Might be able to play him on the first line as well. Let's see really quick. Yeah, I think I might be tempted to play him on the first line with Malkin and stuff. So let's already edit the uh, the, the lineups really quick. Just to make sure everything go, uh, goes uh, smoothly. There we go. Let's put that uh, Pugliarvi in there. So Pugliarvi is going to be playing with Malkin. Uh, they've got a power forward now on their team. And uh, now we got two playmakers with a sniper. There it is. So that's that works out pretty much uh, pretty good. Now the the one thing I need, boys, is I do need to upgrade my left wing, my center position as well. I guess I could. So we're gonna look for defense first. Well, I think we got our deal wires right there. Brent Burns for Yandel straight up. Burns is pay is being paid way better, way more, much more. He's got two year deal. Yandel's got a one year deal, and Yandel is an eighty five overall. Instead of Brent Burns, who is one year older, and he's actually 82. He's dropping fast. And uh, next year, is, he won't even be playing in the, in the league if he stays. So, it's much better to have a Yandel that can still play with us. And he's a mid, right? He's a higher tier. So, he's in the, uh, the mid tier. So, we want him, and we can definitely get... I don't think... We're not going to get a first round pick from them. What we can get, what we can get is a second round pick. So we can definitely maybe get a second round pick in Yendo for Brent Burns. That's a clear upgrade. Unless there's another defenseman available that, that I could trade away, boys. I'm not too sure. There's plenty of like there's plenty of uh, guys right here. But the thing is, Brent Burns is the one dropping fast. These other dudes right here, Shillington's pretty good. Larson, uh, pretty good defenseman. He's a defensive defenseman, though. So I'm not sure. Is, does he have more value? He has less value than a Brent Burns. Brent Burns has a lot of value. That's the main difference. Uh, we still have Giordano as well. At 40 years of age. We haven't played him at all though. He's playing playing in the AHL. So maybe we want to trade away for uh, Adam Larson instead. But straight up like that. I mean it's a defensive defenseman. I'm getting rid of him. I'm getting an offensive defenseman. So... We could try it. Let's try it. There we go. Straight up. So that's our second trade, I guess. Not much of a big change. I mean, it is a change in terms of high tier or like low tier compared to mid tier that we got. Uh, but uh, it's just a straight up trade. I think for the minute, for this year at least, it's an upgrade. Not sure for next year though. We'll see, boys. So we got rid of Larson, one of our defensive defensemen. So that's that's a good one, I guess. We got rid of that. And, and now, what we do want to do is we upgrade our defense. I want to look back. Do we need to upgrade our offense? Maybe the centers. They have plenty of centers, right? Available. Maybe we can find one of them. We did get... Uh, well, we didn't really get anything extra right now. But trying to figure out. Maybe there's something we can get. So, uh, Keith Yendo. Offensive defenseman, boys. Definitely going there instead of Fleury. That's for sure. Uh, here's the thing. Where are we going to put him? He's definitely going to be playing there. He's a mid-tier. So he's playing with uh, with Dumba. Dumba, you're going there. Shillington with Brent Burns. I'm not sure if I want Brent Burns in there. Oh, yeah. I definitely do want him in there because he's producing a lot more, boys. He's just a lot better overall, I think. 
Yeah, I think he's just a lot better overall. So we don't want, definitely want that. We'll keep him in there for now. I, I'm not too sure what to think about this. There's not a thing like vision or anything. I think it's end eye that I got to focus on more than anything else. Uh, I don't see any other like type of thing that I might want to look at. Like durability 84. Maybe the durability is the thing that I want to look at. Because like, Boreal's got more uh, durability. So there it is. Maybe that's that one I wanna, uh, what I want to do. So say a Shillington for uh, per se durability 88. Yeah, so Shillington with Boreal and Brent Burns with uh, Aiden Fleury. Maybe we, that's what we want to do, boys. So we got our two traits. Let's try and look for a center now. All right, let's see if that's going to work, boys. I mean, Yanmark, uh, two second round picks and Vituelema. Uh, Vituelema, which is one of our lower lead prospects. But the thing is, he's a grinder. He's 61 years of age. Uh, 61 overall, I should say. So there it is. Uh, that's pretty good, but uh, grinder. So grinder, we don't have any use for that in the team. And we could possibly get new hook, which is a top prospect, right? 86 overall is already in the mid tier, medium elite. He got uh, drafted at 16 overall in the first round pick by the Colorado Avalanche in 2019. So. This might be a good pickup, boys. A really good offensive pickup for us. If you uh, like a current prospect and everything. Let's see if that's going to go true or not. Not really. So we gotta, we, we would have to give him give them something more. We don't want to give him the power forward. Ray, uh, Riker Evans. But Riker Evans is a... Yes, she, yes he is a two-way defense uh, forward. but Or defenseman. So I want to definitely keep him. What about this guy? Defensive defenseman Charov. We can give them the two prospects. Charov and Vituelama. Surely they're going to accept that. They don't want that? I don't want to give them my first from this year. So I'll just give them a first from like super far away or something. So there we go. A first round pick right there. I don't think that's going to go true though. Yeah, I'm going to have to give them something more. So first from super far away. And on top of that get like a, a second so a first and a second from pretty far away Chera, Vitwelema and Yanmark for new hook let's see if that's gonna go through not even so all right then I guess we're going very far away but I'll I'll give them two first I'll give them two first in my in these prospects there it is now I gave up a lot I gave up two first round picks that but they are, they are very far away, so there's a uh, there's a way of getting them back eventually, and uh, two big prime big time prospects like low elites and stuff. But I'm never gonna get any use to them because it's a, def a defensive defenseman and a grinder forward, so never gonna be uh, using them anyways. And I got Yanmark in there as well, so it's basically replacing Yanmark, which was like uh, an 81 overall or something like that. And in exchange, we're getting something much better. We're getting a, a new hook, which is another mid-tier player, boys. Definitely going to bring him up, I think. Yeah, he's, his hand-eye is all across the chart right here. Uh, he's in the 90s of hand-eye. What about Malkin? Better hand-eye than Malkin for sure. So he's playing on the first line. Yeah, I'm definitely playing him on the first line. I'm going to play uh, Wendberg in there and Ryan Strom. Kind of the same as a Malkin. I think I'm going to keep Malkin in there. So Rainstorm is going to be a fourth line. Malkin in the third. Weinberg in the second. And New Hook, our brand new player. He's, he'll be playing on the first line, boys, with uh, Puli Yarvi. So we've got our two prospects, kind of. Uh, low elite and medium elite playing on the first round right there. So we got our, uh, ourselves uh, a good, decent team, I guess. Nothing crazy. But we definitely got something, that's for sure. So... All right, let's keep simulating, boys. Let's see if uh, that's going to help us out at all. That is, for now, it's a, the first game is a shootout loss, which is not too good. Uh, let's see. Let's continue simulating against the Minnesota Wild. We uh, got a win. There we go. There's a win. A nice little win against Minnesota Wild. Vancouver Canucks. Uh, Chris Letan is going to be back, finally. He's back from his injuries. Uh, Aiden Fleury, you can uh, get out of there, and we're going to get... Uh, Chris Letan back in business. Instead of Zborel, we're going to bring uh, Letan in there. Now, Letan is 81 of durability. 
82. Okay, so the time we're going to be sticking him up to the second uh, duo, uh, second pair of boys. So we're going to keep him in like that. All right, let's keep it going right here. There's a, there's a win against Vancouver. That's really one that's, I want to see the most, boys. Let's keep it going. Can get uh, more wins. 8 to nothing win right there. That is fantastic. Exactly what I want to see. And now we're moving on to the uh, the actual trade deadline. Keep the current trade uh, block and continue the same. We don't want to see it. Takes too much time. So big trades coming uh, that happened. Vancouver traded away uh, or they got uh, Drew Dali and the Kaiser in exchange for Camel and Primo, which are probably prospects. So Dali and the Kaiser are going to Vancouver, boys. That's a big trade. And that seems to be the biggest one right there. Just to make sure, we'll take a look at the actual trades themselves. Uh, if there's anything interesting, I'll show you guys. Mike Hoffman going to Columbus in exchange for Imminent. So maybe Montreal got a, themselves a prospect right there. Nemeshnikov is going to Tampa Bay. All right. So he's going back there, basically. Uh, Drouin is uh, in Grice. Both are going to St. Louis. Got Jeff Carter going to uh, the Rangers, boys. And aside from that, we're pretty much the only one that uh, uh, th that did the other trades. So I'd say uh, the biggest trades are by far uh, Drew Dotty one, the Drew Dotty one. And afterwards, it would be us with the new hook situation. So let's keep simulating right here. It feels like we're doing just fine. There's another shoot, a, sh a shout out win. Really good. Let's keep it going right here. There's a loss against the, the, the Stars. And uh, Anaheim Ducks, can we win against them? There's a win against them. Uh, we need another win, though. Let's keep it winning. Ah, damn it. There's a regulation loss right there. Los Angeles Kings, there it is. We got a win. And Vegas Golden Knights, that's going to be a loss. But after the last 10 games, ever since we did the trades, we had a good, pretty good record of 6-3-1. So we bounced back to round, boys. We bounced back around. We're still not in the wild card, but uh, we're still in the race. We're definitely in the race, boys. We just got to beat uh, the... Yeah, we got to find a way to beat the Golden Knights or the Oilers. We got to beat one of them. Even the Ducks uh, could be a, is the doable. So, yeah, that's pretty decent enough. That's pretty decent enough. If we take a look, I think we got a good record right now going for us. So, don't want to really change anything, but... Uh, for our offense, it's definitely going up. Our offense is going up big time. And our defense trending up. I think it's trending up. So our defense is doing much better. Power play is actually doing better. And the penalty kill is doing a little bit worse for wear. But it's still the best penalty kill all around. So I'm happy to see that, boys. So let's keep, keep it going. I don't want to change anything. We had a good one right there. Uh, Blackhawks, that's going to be a big time loss. 7 to 4 loss. 5 to 2 loss against Vegas. Not good. Mete in the minors got injured once again. Got to replace him with our uh, with Hutton. So let's replace him really quick. I'm going to keep it like that. Come on, man. We got this. Let's beat up the uh, Los Angeles Kings. There we go. Shootout win. I like to see that. The St. Louis Blues, that's going to be a regulation loss. Not good. We're losing quite a lot right here, man. We need those wins. The Oilers and the Golden Knights keep winning. And they're uh, they're just going upwards. I think we're not going to make it, boys. I don't think we're going to make it to the playoffs, to be honest. Because we keep on losing and uh, we're struggling. Now, we're winning shootout, uh, like in shootout and stuff. But it's still not enough, in my opinion. Uh, let's win this game, please. We got to win it. There we go. There's a nice little win against the Islanders. We pretty much have to win almost every single game by now if we want to make it to the playoffs. So we cannot let like... Oh, come on. Against the Oilers? Oh, my God. A division team, boys, and we yeah, we lose against them. This is not good. Not good at all. We're not... The Canucks already clinched the playoffs. What are we going to do here? That's another loss. We are, yeah, we're not making it to the... We're pretty, basically eliminated, boys, already. Uh, and the Oilers... Well, there's a win against the Oilers, but it's, pretty, it's a bit too late. It's a bit too late, boys. The last 10 games, record of 4-6. and six. Absolutely horror, atricious. I don't know what to do. But uh, we didn't make it to the playoffs. We're already out of it. As you can see, it's already over. Nothing we can do about that, boys. 
We have uh, we're in the strong division, the strongest division. So we we literally cannot do anything. There's we can't we gotta perform, and this is not clearly not enough. Like this, we cannot go below uh, below 500 uh, during assimilation, and we did just that, and that hurted us big time. So I guess we're gonna simulate. There we go. That's another loss. And uh, let's just simulate the last game right here, boys, against uh, the Flames. And we lost again. We need to change something up. Uh, Malkin is not doing it right. He did all right. We could have done much better. So Malkin, I guess, I mean, compared to last year, I mean, 74 points. Uh, it's pretty bad, boys. Pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. And um, over here pretty bad even worse so it's, it's starting to play worse and worse it's just not good really not good i mean did he get he got more goals right no he got the same amount of goals all right well rackle got 61 points is he play did he play better no he played a little bit worse everybody played worse uh ryan Strom, 50 points same thing for Pulley uh, what did he do for us so 16 points in 22 games played not too bad, not too bad. Much better than with uh, than what he was doing with his other team. So that's for sure. And New Hook, what did he do for us? He finished at 49 points. But uh, yeah, he did pretty good. 14 points in 22 games played. He's in the minuses. But still, did pretty good. So I think overall, we had a decent team. Could have done much better. For the team we have, we still had a lot of potential, boys. Tuka Rask did not have a good season at all. And that's just unfortunate. He's starting to drop off. You can see he's going to become a backup soon. Uh, basically the same as a Drieger. We got to find a way to get rid of him. We're stuck with him for four years. Uh, Drieger, it's his last year of contract. So basically we're going to, we'll probably keep Rask as the backup. And we'll find ourselves a good a new starter. Probably. So that's that. Let's take a look around the uh, league itself. The best scorer was Matthews, Matthews at 52 goals and uh, the best, uh, the only 52, uh, 50 game, uh, goal scorer. The best player of the league was Hubert Do with 110 points. Rentonen, 101 points. McDavid, uh, Matthews, McDavid, Barkov, Marchand, Eichel, Lendeskad and Ovechkin. With 42 goals, Ovechkin is now at 877 goals. Three years of contract still. If he uh, obliged by these contracts, he's going to have plenty of time. Just one more year of Eshkin. One more year and you're going to pass Gretzky. So stay here, man. Stay in there. You're still in 94 overall. It's crazy. You got this, my guy. Is uh, Crosby still playing, right? Uh, yeah, Crosby's still playing. He's not doing too good, though. Uh, yeah, he's starting to drop as well. But uh, he's... yeah. Well, he did better than last year, I guess. But uh, he's kind of his age is showing up, I guess. Def defense wise, Quinn Hughes, best player once again for the second time in a row, boys. And uh, Morgan Raleigh, 80 points. We've got Eggblad, Eskinen, Krug, McCarr, Carlson, Hedman, and Shabbat, boys. Next up, the goalies. The best goalie in there was by far uh, Spencer Knight, of course, with 45 wins. And uh, 903 per saving percentage. Maybe Morazek's going to get it, though. He's got a better saving percentage uh, than Spencer Na uh, 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 Knight. So Peter Morazek, boys. Incredible. He's getting a comeback at 83 overall. He's playing like a stud. 80, uh, 44 uh, wins. This guy is a stud right now. What the hell? All right. And we've got Demko and everything. Of course, Shesterkin, Olmark, Roslinkins. Uh, we've got uh, Samsonov, Varlamov, and Gibson. And Price not too far behind. Uh, how, uh, how many uh, wins does he have? Uh, he's almost at the 500 mark, Price, that is. All right, and the rookie skaters for this year. Uh, Shane Wright might be the best player, boys. Pretty close to Eric Myers, though. So we'll see who gets it, uh, I guess. Well, there it is, boys. So the Stanley Cup champions for that year is the are the Florida Panthers. So Panthers won the cup, and the Hartford Wolfpack won the uh, Color Cup. All right, congrats to the Florida. I guess they got the cup this year. 
I think that might be their first Stanley Cup overall in their career, the entire franchise. So congrats to them. Winnipeg's going to get their very first round pick. And uh, Ottawa second. Los Angeles afterwards, Minnesota and everything. Uh, we are in there. We're 12th overall. We did not move up or down. We stayed put, boys. So that's that, I guess. But at, at, the, at the 12th pick, we do have a chance of moving on quite tremendously, though, uh, with making trades and stuff. So forward-wise, it seems like Spezza retired, finally retired at 41 years of age. Uh, he was still playing in the NHL, so he had like 51 points. Still having pretty good seasons, boys. So there we go. Pretty good uh, career uh, for Jason Spezza, retiring with the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. Seems like we lost Dustin Brown. That was his last season, boys. And uh, Andrew Ladd and everything. Uh, everybody else is pretty much kind of forgettable, like mid-tier player, Fro league, and, uh, and all that stuff. If we take a look at defensemen, Duncan Keefe uh, decided to retire, boys. So he's gone. Uh, Golly Gasky and Hedler and Russell and all that uh, stuff. Pretty much uh, normal guys. And Anderson, Craig Anderson, retired. That's pretty much it. So if we take a look at our team by itself, uh, aside from Dustin Brown, did we lose anybody else? No, he's the only one that we lost to retirement. So... Uh, Dustin Brown and Spezza both are coaches now, are available as coaches, boys. That's interesting. Might want to pick up uh, Dustin Brown and uh, Spezza, boys. All right, so that's that. Any coaches on our side that decide to retire? I don't see anybody, but uh, there might be something. So let's see really quick where the trade, uh, the draft pick. Let's see the coaching staff. Anybody retired? Nobody retired. They're still all there. Bunch of A's and B's everywhere, boys. So that's that. I, I'll, I'll definitely take a look later on to see uh, what type of rating uh, Spezza and Dustin Brown are as coaches. I'm kind of curious. If they're good enough, I'll maybe uh, maybe I'll pick them up. But otherwise, I, I won't. I won't. So uh, let's go right into the draft lottery, boys. We're not messing around in this video. We're doing it. First thing we're going, we want to do obviously is move up so one two three four five move up at least the fifth uh to uh, by five picks so the seven uh seventh pick uh we got the first round right there and what can we give them now here comes the big part we don't want to give any of these guys up no low leads or anything i don't really have anything to give them doesn't seem like there's any other players that i could trade away per se i mean giordano maybe but uh, it seems like we are not going to be able to move up at all, boys. There's nothing really we can do. So first round pick for this year, it's going to be Zodarov, center sniper, medium elite. So no franchise player this time around. Uh, Ottawa is going to get themselves a two-way forward. Not too good. Uh, sniper, right winger. There we go. 80, 83 overall for Los Angeles. We've got uh, defensive defenseman. Okay. Uh, what about this playmaker? There it is. For the Islanders, they kind of messed up on that one. It's a top six. Another top six. Another top six. Okay, so it seems like we might be already done for the elites. We might be already done for the elites, boys. Okay, all right. There's a bunch of top sixes everywhere. I mean, there's no way we're done with the elites already, right? It's, is that uh, bad of a draft lottery? I mean, we got these options right here, but we're way too far away just yet, so... Yeah, we, I still want to go into the top ones. So who should we go up for, boys? They're saying Matthews and Wallace have a good chance both of being elites. Matthews, though, would be a 2 way forward, so I do not want that. Uh, Brian Leach, there we go. He's got a comparison to Wallace, that is. 17 years of age. He's got maybe four years of growth, though. Uh, either either way, we got this guy, but I don't think he's going to be anything crazy. Joe Nguyendike, he could actually be really good. Chris Crasher and everything. Well, I don't know if he's going to really be that good. He could be a, a, a top six, boys. He's not going to be a top nine. He's either a top six or he's an elite. Not too sure, boys, which one of these guys is going to be the good one to choose right here. It does say that he's one year of growth, though. Only so he's basically NHL ready. 
I'll take a chance on this guy. I guess I'll take Lucier, boys. We'll take Lucier for this year. Let's see. Oh, right wing, two way forward. 75 overall is really good, but it's like medium top six. It's really good, but it's a two way forward. So that's kind of garbage. I'm not going to use that, boys. I'm not using that for my teams. So this is going to be rough. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do with that. That's pretty bad. I would have much preferred to have this uh, these guys right here. While this was an offensive defenseman. Yeah, I don't know, boys. I feel like I kind of messed up right there. I didn't have a second round pick. So I probably I missed out uh, probably on my two gems as well. Yep. All right. So that's pre that was pretty bad. Uh, we do have this guy available. We're going to pick him up right away, boys. Uh, Bernier, we don't want to miss it out, uh, miss out on him. Definitely a low, uh, uh, medium elite, almost confirmed. Let's uh, take him up. Okay, so he's not a medium elite. He is a medium top six as well. But he's a, a right whip playmaker, so still pretty decent enough. It doesn't seem like this year is a, a really that strong of a year. It actually seems to be a pretty weak year for for uh, draft picks and stuff. I mean, we got this goaltender right here. Could be good. Uh, this Antoine Letan and stuff. We're going to pick him up, I guess. Could be good. Let's see. French starter, absolute garbage like any other goaltender, I guess. It's not. You got to get really lucky to get a good goaltender early on. So I really don't have anything whatsoever here. I don't know what I'm like, what I'm picking, what I'm looking for. Maybe I'm looking for a good league like A plus. There it is right there. Like an A plus, but someone that did really good. This guy, Reinprecht, did really good. Let's pick uh, Reinprecht, boys. There we go. So, uh, top 9, but 60 overall, so that's fine by me. Vincent Le Cavalier, boys. There's another Le Cavalier, and it's the same name and everything. We might as well, like, pick him up. You can't get better than that, so let's try him out. Outer garbage, 48 overall, bottom 6. You can see, boys, why I'm not good at draft picks at all. Uh, I'm not good. Let's just pick Kostopoulos, I guess. There is... There we go, low elite. The only elite player we got in this draft pick. And he's actually a low playmaker. Uh, left wing playmaker, so what do you know? So he's actually a playmaker. So that's an actual good player. Another one uh, added, another player added to the prospect pool, I guess. So I guess that was good enough. The main, So the, our main course, our main player was uh, is the last one. The seventh round pick is the best player we picked up. Which uh, is pretty bad, boys. Pretty bad, but what are you going to do? So we got some coaches here that uh, are pretty much done for. Uh, this guy right here, our main coach, head coach, is done. Uh, we're going to get rid of Le Tain, uh, or uh, Marchand and Donal because I want to make I want to make sure to look at uh, Dustin Brown and stuff like that. I want to see if they're any good, right? Uh, these coaches are good. This head coach is pretty good though he is a Ford coach team performance player relationships it's pretty good with uh, the players I'd say 62 fit we'll uh, we'll pick him up we'll uh, we'll try and re-sign him again yeah let's, let's give him exactly what he wants the same amount of money and uh, all these scouts all of them need to be re-signed so give me a second all right so I went ahead and uh, re-signed everybody now it comes the part of the actual contracts. For the contracts themselves, we're going to end it right here. We're going to do those in the next video, boys. Uh, we'll deal with all of these things together and stuff like that. We'll take a look at the roster and everything. Uh, for now, boys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Even though it was a pretty short uh, season, we did not get to get to the playoffs. So the, the worst season of them all, I guess. We got three seasons of simulation so far. And that was by far the worst one, the third one. So hopefully we're going to bounce back up and actually uh, get a good simulation for the next year. Keep it easy, boys.